What's up everybody, it's Charles, and this is the exhaust that we removed from the Mark V GTI. And instead of just sending it to scrap, I thought it would be interesting to cut it open and see what's inside and kind of how a muffler actually does work. Also, we're gonna look at what the inside of the catalytic converter looks like, but because that thing was such a rust bucket, uh, the catalytic converter came out in a bunch of pieces, so we don't even get to cut that one. All right, I'm pumped to see what's inside that muffler. Let's get outside and cut those bad boys open. So this suitcase style is the rear muffler on the vehicle. Moment of truth. These are threads of fiberglass that will deaden that exhaust note coming out. Now, you'll notice that there's different baffling inside of this muffler. This is actually all pretty sophisticated where all the placement of these things are. They're actually tuned to produce different exhaust notes. Now, on the factory exhaust, it's about quieting, especially at idle, but still having good flow off idle. And these pieces can be moved around, the dynamics can change, the exhaust notes can change. That's why different manufacturers, the exhausts can sound very, very different. As the exhaust travels through the muffler, you can see it can kind of go one of two ways here in the suitcase style. It can go over here and out this way and it'll kind of bounce around in the baffled area or it can come through towards the tailpipes. You see these perforations here. Certain level of flow will come out of these holes. Some of it's deadened by the fiberglass and then finally pushed out the rest of the way. And it looks super simple, but changing any of the structure inside of this exhaust will affect and impact the exhaust note as well as exhaust flow. Let's move up the exhaust to this resonator style. This is one that a lot of people will remove. They'll just cut out and put a straight pipe, which actually sounds really good on the Mark V's if you're, if you're looking at doing that. We have a very similar setup with a pipe coming in, obviously a pipe coming out. We have that fiberglass insulation inside. We can see how the exhaust will bounce around inside of here. It's actually completely open, which is an interesting design, but still all that fiberglass filler to deaden the sound. Now, when we move to the catalytic converter, we see this honeycomb shape inside of it. This is actually made up of rare metals, which is why they're so expensive and why people steal them all the time. And in fact, we're not gonna cut this open anymore because this actually still has, I think, some value to it. But depending on cat temperature will depend on what's actually happening inside the cat, all meant to trap some of those exhaust gas particles and hold them in the cat. Then when the temp gets high, it burns them off. Now we replace this entire exhaust with a performance downpipe which had new catalytic converters in it, as well as a full cat back performance exhaust. Now you may have seen someone's muffler that looked like it had hair coming out of the back. What you're actually seeing is a breakdown internally of that muffler and this stuff being pushed out of the tailpipe. And I'm sure if you saw that, you probably also heard that car driving on by as well. So cool stuff. And you know, one of the bad things about working at the dealership is you rarely get the opportunity to cut this kind of stuff open either because you don't have the time because it's not something you get paid for or you have to send the things back to the manufacturer so you don't get this opportunity. So I thought I'd take that and do something good with this rusty old Mark V exhaust before it went to the scrap. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Always appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on all the normal social channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I thought it was cool and a lot of fun. And oh, if you do this, well, you shouldn't do this. Don't try this at home. But if you decide to, I wouldn't recommend breathing that stuff. It smelled really weird and it's probably super duper toxic.